Welcome to e Shala. Warm greetings to all. I am Dr. P. Malati, serving as Assistant Professor in LRG Government Arts College, Tirupur. Entrepreneurial competencies and behavior is the topic of my lecture at this juncture. This lecture is evenly concentrated on the bifurcations of the topic, namely entrepreneurial competencies and entrepreneurial behavior. The French origin of the word entrepreneur connotes to business head who assumes an indispensable role in the economic development of a country. An entrepreneur is groomed well based on the circumstances that expose him to the requisite opportunities and resources. An entrepreneur who makes the best strategic plan of bridging both the opportunities and the available resources persistently and undoubtedly holds on to the wings of corporate victories. At all times, it is one's enter enterprising skills that acts as a magic wand for one's corporate success. The anecdote of a blind beggar who didn't get any money but gain the pity of a passerby's enterprising skills would serve a right example here. There was a blind beggar who was begging for his bread with a cardboard inscription stating, I am blind, please help. But none took a notice of him. A passerby who happens to behold this be beggar takes his cardboard and wrote on the other side, it's a beautiful day. You can see it, but I cannot. This moving statement gains a good sum of money for that blind beggar. The noteworthy point here is the enterprising statement written by the passerby. In fact, the phenomenal success of an entrepreneur actually depends on the behavior and the competency level of that entrepreneur. It is here the question about entrepreneurial competencies arises. To use Callahan's definition, entrepreneurial behavior is the subset of entrepreneurial activities concerned with understanding, predicting and influencing individual behavior in entrepreneurial settings. Entrepreneurial competency refers to the adeptness of the entrepreneur's corporate ingenuity, corporate leadership, corporate diplomacy, quality consciousness and entrepreneurial mindset. Corporate ingenuity is the prime quality of entrepreneurial competencies. Generally speaking, corporate intelligence depends on the way of one's positive approach to any business situation. This may be well comprehended with an example or exemplification. Once there lived a shoe manufacturer who asks couple of his salesmen to explore their business potential in a nearby country. Both of them observed that the place where they had been sent did not possess the least knowledge about wearing shoes. On their return to their master, the first salesman reported that there had been no chance of establishing their business as those people didn't have an awareness about shoes. Whereas the second salesman said that that was the best suitable place for the establishing their business as those people would love and enjoy the comfort of shoes if introduced. The second salesman shall be appreciated here for his corporate ingenuity at this instant. Corporate ingenuity perhaps refers to the competitive intelligence of an entrepreneur who sets himself in observing the business prospects, mustering or gathering information, about the pros and cons of the business and comprehending the demand for their products besides executing the strategic business plans of the organization successfully. Next we come to corporate leadership. Corporate leadership is wrongly assumed to be an occupation or designation most of the times. As a matter of fact, corporate leadership is the prominent adeptness imbibed by any entrepreneur to be triumphant in the corporate world. It is a responsibility that every entrepreneur shoulders. It requires the precocious knowledge of a corporate leader 
who could holistically view every employee along with his or her attitude, expertise, interests and personal profile from the top to bottom. A good leader always knows about the smart ways of work execution and work distribution in the organization. The employee's field of expertise is always taken into account by the best corporate leader before work allotment. This quality actually reduces the burden and unnecessary botheration of the entrepreneur. Therefore, corporate leadership skill shall be observed as the second indispensable entrepreneurial competencies of every corporate. For instance, the corporate tycoon and recipient of Padma Bhushan in 2008 and Padma Vibhushan in 2000, Mr. Ratan Tata is stated to have raised the profits of his industries 50 times during 21 years of his corporate involvement, it seems. His courage of investment in various trades, besides his focus and choice of right industrial arena for investments, shall be inferred or understood by many entrepreneurs. Now, we're going to discuss the corporate diplomacy. Corporate diplomacy is the third phase of entrepreneurial competencies to be discussed. This quality shall be simply defined as the capacity of the corporate to say yes and no at the appropriate business context. Here, the entrepreneur needs desirable discretion to decide on what can make the business flourish. To understand the business structure, an entrepreneur has to acquire adequate experience on corporate diplomacy. An emotionally well-balanced entrepreneur has the optimum opportunity of practicing corporate diplomacy. This potentiality has its roots in the cool and stress-free attitude of an entrepreneur at all times, so that the decisions made in the corporate always serve towards the progress of an organization. Sometimes, this corporate diplomacy also results in adverse effect of one sect of the corporate. In such a situation, to safeguard the industrial output holistically, the entrepreneur is pushed to an extreme to make decisions. This actually reminds the owl and the mouse story, where the mouse seeks the help of a wise owl to get away from or get out of a forest in which it is trapped. At that situation, the owl in fact says or gives advice to the mouse to grow wings. Of course, it is certainly incredible. However, here the mouse which loses its last hope with the owl will certainly find its own way out is the real logic practiced as corporate diplomacy at very vulnerable business contexts and situations today. It is the necessity that leads one towards great explorations most of the times. Add that and that has come true in many cases also. Now we are discussing quality consciousness. The best avenue of an entrepreneurial success shall be attained through the fourth entrepreneurial competency namely quality consciousness of the end product. Quality consciousness is not a cakewalk. It is framed on the foundation of the holistic industrial commitment and sincerity of the employees. When the employees are highly satisfied with the corporate norms and the quality of the product naturally gets, when it is manufactured, naturally stands a foolproof for its quality. The characteristics does not only uplift the profile of an industry, but also of the entrepreneur. On the other facet, when an entrepreneur gives prime importance to the quality of the end product, the job of advertisement is taken up very easily by the consumers willing propaganda about the product. This gives a serendipitous progress to the business by uplifting the profile of the entire group of the organizations also. It is noteworthy that any big corporate has a small beginning point. Big or small does not matter. It is the case of investments and the quality consciousness that takes the business to its heights. This shall be deciphered from an anecdote where a car dialogist takes his car to a car mechanic's garage to set it right. There, the chief mechanic instructs a novice 
to set it right by narrating the process of it and the tools to be used. In few seconds, the car is set right and the bill is submitted to the cardiologist for payment. As the bill seemed to bear an unimaginable high payment, the doctor says it is atrocity to charge that much of a uh, payment for a simple work. The mechanic immediately makes a general comparison with the big figured medical bills given by the doctors for simple treatments. For which the doctor replies the mechanic, mechanics work uh, is not a machine. Mechanics usually work on machines when they are not plugged into electricity. But whereas a doctor, he works on human machines in, in its full vitality. And that makes the difference, justifies the doctor. Because it is very easy, when the machine is not plugged in, it is very easy to work on a machine. When a machine is running, it is highly risky and difficult to work on a machine. That's what the doctor intends telling. For which the doctor immediately, the, as soon as the doctor tells this, the uh, garage man replies, Doctor, we can work on dead machines to bring it alive. Can you? Is the question asked by the garage owner. The doctor gets stunned by the mechanic's query and leaves the garage by paying his bill silently. Big or small, the quality consciousness of a work speaks for a long time is the model conveyed here. As the fifth component, we are now discussing entrepreneurial mindset. This entrepreneurial mindset shall be addressed as the winner mindset. In fact, this winner mindset is the crucial part of an entrepreneur's corporate success. To state that precisely, the corporate mindset has its strong roots on certain essential entrepreneurial qualities like assertiveness, self-motivation, determination, commitment, focus, goal setting, systematic planning, prioritization of work, plan execution and entrepreneurial stability. For instance, Reliance Industries without Padma Vibhushan Drubai Ambani Infosys without Padma Vibhushan N.R. Narayana Murthy, Western Indian vegetable products called Vipro without Azam Premji are unimaginable without these entrepreneurs associated with their respective industries. What has made these business tycoons so special to occupy the space coverage of several reputed magazines? If pondered well, the answer is naturally their entrepreneurial mindset which comprises assertiveness, self-motivation, determination, commitment, focus, goal setting, systematic planning, prioritization of work, plan execution and entrepreneurial stability. This entrepreneurial stability actually arises from the entrepreneurial behavior which shall be discussed elaborately now. This in fact is the second facet of the same lecture. Entrepreneurial behavior is perceived as an entrepreneur's attitude in observing the consumer behavior on both psychological and sociological facets of the business. A thorough understanding of entrepreneurial behavior is both an art and a science. While the strategic approach to human behavior is considered to be science, the practical exposure of the behavioral knowledge serves to be an art. To state in other words, Entrepreneurial behavior is an essential and fundamental psychological knowledge of an entrepreneur to stick on firmly to his or her incessant or continuous industrial success. Here arises a query. Why the entrepreneurial behavior is considered significant to be comprehended? This shall be justified with a frog and scorpion anecdote. Once there lived a scorpion and a frog together and the scorpion goes and seeks the help of the frog to cross a flooded river. The frog was scared to take the scorpion on its back and says if I carried you on my back you would sting me to death. The scorpion replied why I would sting you when we both have to save our own lives. Both the lives is at stake unless otherwise we cross the river. As the reply of the scorpion seemed very sensible to the frog, the frog accepts to the deal. And the frog carries the scorpion on its back half the way through. The scorpion had stung the frog. The frog, writhing in pain, asked the scorpion, Why did you sting me? Even after knowing, it would doom both of us to death. 
the scorpion replied my nature and attitude is to sting and i had done the same at this vulnerable and irresistible situation so i had stung you said the scorpion pathetically the inference from here is a very strong understanding of entrepreneurial behavior for taking preventive measures to solve any corporate crisis when an entrepreneur possesses the requisite entrepreneurial behavior he or she obviously has the understanding of client or consumer behavior number 2 the interpretation of the client or consumer behavior number 3 foresight of the societal compulsion number 4 observation of triplicate behavioral pattern number 5 identification of transformation in consumers interest let's now get started with all the five components to be observed with a perspective to enhance the entrepreneurial behavior as the first component we are to discuss understanding the consumer behavior concentrating on entrepreneurial behavior perhaps opens the doors of behavioral approach discussed in the business management concepts entrepreneurial competencies indeed rely on the behavioral concepts of the human beings this study has fixed its strong roots on the behavioral knowledge of human beings pursued through observations on human behavior in fact this behavioral knowledge is an essential enterprising skill furthermore both an animate and inanimate things shall give clues about interests beliefs and attitudes of hum human beings the inanimate things used by human beings prominently proclaim certain essential information about them which may serve a clue or a tool for a successful business deal sometimes for instance a skilled door to door marketing person usually comprehends the success of his business deal every day by observing the footwear cupboard that is kept outside every house before pressing the calling bell the clues about the number of members in the family the proportionate mix of male and female members the age group of people who are living in the family number of kids in the family the economic status of the family and at present how many members are available in the family and all these things can be holistically perceived by just looking at the footwear cupboard by the door to door vendor so this is very easy for the door to door vendor to make his business very successful the second component of the entrepreneurial behavior is interpretation of consumer behavior an entrepreneur's interpretation capacity of the consumer behavior helps to promote and smoothly maintain the business relationship between each other offering freebies to the consumers on buying their goods allotment of rebate percentage on certain specific purchases issuing smart cards of that enterprise with credit points to make the consumer fall back to them for all further purchases are quite a few instances where the consumer behavior is well generalized by the entrepreneurs in some of the big garment industries of tamil nadu especially in coimbatore the consumers who set themselves on purchase are offered free quality beverages especially in the evenings this naturally results in the flooding of consumers to those shops the salesmen of these shops are trained by the entrepreneurs to speak in a convincing and cajoling manner to their customers and consumers so that they will not walk out of the shop after making just a window shopping experience now thirdly we come to see foresight of the societal compulsion the foresight of the societal compulsion is the third component of the entrepreneurial behavior the fundamental awareness about the societal compulsion for a purchase of certain products becomes a significant knowledge of an entrepreneur prior to devising his or her business plans the society in which the entrepreneur lives perhaps forms a strong base to the entrepreneurial behavior this societal factor has an equal role on the consumer behavior also whether a soap manufacturer or a beverages producer irrespective of the nature of the business an entrepreneur is prone to study the societal taboos societal beliefs and societal anxiety before marketing the commodity a few ready made shops 
in Coimbatore district of Tamil Nadu freely offer oven fresh sweets to kids and perfumed natural flowers like uh, white and pink jasmines to the married women on Fridays who visit to the shop. The sentimental attachment of Tamil married women in this society and their societal belief is well utilized by these entrepreneurs of the garment industry located in Coimbatore district of Tamil Nadu. Observation of triplicate behavioral pattern now. This is the fourth component which is to be discussed. This component deals with the triplicate behavioral pattern which is actually a cyclic process. The interlinked cyclic behavioral pattern opens an avenue to identify three behavioral elements namely individual behavior, inter-individual behavior and the behavior of organizations. These three behavioral patterns are interconnected and they may be easily understood with the help of an incident. A person who commutes to his workplace every day by train observes an idle man on the platform from where he boards in the train. One fine day, the commuter calls the idle man and hands over four soft drinks containers and asks him to crush and push it into the recycle machine kept in the station by the recycle industry located in the city. This idle man reluctantly goes to the machine and obeys the instruction given by the commuter. Immediately, the machine yields him some nominal amount with which he can order at least a tea. The next day, the commuter happens to see the man picking up all empty soft drinks containers. After that, he was not at all seen on that platform. After a short span of one year, on a sultry day afternoon, the commuter stops his bike to take a soft drink at a shop. To his surprise, he finds the idle man in the cash counter who offers a free drink to the commuter as a sign of his indebtedness. If we closely analyze the story, the commuter throws a psychological stimulus on the idle man to work by exposing him the benefits of it. Here, the behavior of the organization that persuades an employee to work and scale heights that shall be inferred. Secondly, the inter-individual behavior of both the men, one in giving and another in executing orders shall be deciphered. Thirdly, the idle man's individual behavior is tapped to progress in his career is also unveiled. Similarly, the organizational behavior forms a psychological stimulus towards enriching the work potential of every individual. As the fifth component, now discuss identification of transformation in consumers' interests. The fifth component is identification of transformation. Why do we discuss this? There is a reason. Understanding the transformation, transformation of consumers' interests about the commodity available in the market best helps the entrepreneur to introduce quality and utility-based products in the commodity market. The transformation of consumers' interests, of course, paves the way for appropriate sales strategies to market the innovative products. The entrepreneurial behavior is set on full swing in analyzing the demands of the consumer and supplying their need. Catering to the anticipation of the consumers within the frame of the corporate dogma is a puzzling experience to almost all the entrepreneurs as they have to wait and watch the end results of their business. To summarize the entire lecture, the entrepreneurial competencies are studied under five major headings namely corporate ingenuity, corporate leadership, corporate diplomacy, quality consciousness and entrepreneurial mindset. The lecture content simultaneously focused on entrepreneurial behavior where the potentiality of an entrepreneur in understanding the client or consumer behavior, interpreting the client or consumer behavior, foreseeing the societal compulsion, observing the triplicate behavioral pattern, identifying the transformation of consumers' interests, all these things are studied. In addition to all these things, the entrepreneurial behavior comprises both theoretical and practical approaches. We also need to know this can be studied with understanding of research applications that opens the doors of organizational comprehension. 
a thorough knowledge on these two facets of entrepreneurship namely entrepreneurial competencies and entrepreneurial behavior help the corporate heads to achieve their corporate goals these corporate triumphs actually sprout from the rational thinking of the entrepreneurs and commitment invested by the employees of an organization precisely the entrepreneurs rational thinking entertains the best behavior among the employees progressive output percentage resulting in admirable turnover of an organization smart work ambience of the corporate and the aspirations of the employees to grow along with the organization the significant aspiration of the entrepreneurial behavior also states explicitly and forecasts the enterprising potentialities of human behavior in general in short it provides a strategic plan of action and the attitudes of people employed in an organization furthermore this study has also given a hint on the indispensable changes in human behavior along with the changes and growth of the technical world of the corporate hope you all have found this lecture very useful and content rich at this juncture i would like to thank you all for having spared your precious time listening to this lecture